Well, hello there, Scorpio. It looks like there's finally the opportunity here to only focus on what you want to do and to put your money where your mouth is. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. This is a Scorpio tarot reading. It is a general reading, usually between two energies. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you today. If you are interested in the extended, there is a link to it in the description box below. Okay. Hmm. Eyes on the prize. Number 44 reduced to an eight number of abundance. Trust the guidance of your north star. Attune to the call. Tune in and turn on. Is a 10 down to a one. Okay. Okay. This is telling me if you're focusing on the right things, this is the most, the things that you are actually guided to focus on, this can actually be a very abundant cycle in store for you. Okay. Not allowing, this feels like a Scorpio that in the past that you provided so much for others, it actually took your focus away from the things that you really wanted to pay attention to the most. Okay. This is calling you to focus on the things that you know are correct for you. Regardless of the needs of others, Scorpio needs to put Scorpio first. Because that's whose life you're living, right? Okay. And sticking with it is the key. <laughs> not faltering on the delivery. Show me what's going on with Scorpio, please. Show me what's going on with Scorpio, please. It's been a slow and steady, hasn't it? Knight of Pentacles there underneath. Magician. Ten of Pentacles. Two of Swords. Six of Cups, Chariot, Card of Cancers, Queen of Swords, Three of Wands. Okay, I'm going to read this side is you. This is them. This is the situation. It feels like this is business and personal. Okay, it does. It feels like this is business and personal. If there was a past connection that really resonated with you that you didn't pursue or it just did not go well for whatever reason, um, there's the desire for you to pursue. There's the knee-jerk trigger of if I pursue this, it could shake my foundation. I don't know if you could actually lose money doing this. If, if it's a business investment kind of deal, perhaps so. Um, because this is showing me this is a person who moved away from things. Um, but they see you upon return. They see you upon return. It's not like they've been looking for you, but they see you at point. They don't try to hide when you show up. Thank you. They don't try to hide when you show up. It feels like there's some ideals around this foundation built that need to be reassessed, but we will get into that as well. It's why we're here. Show me what's manifesting between these two, please. The details of the magician. Seven of pentacles, nine of cups, six of swords, three of swords, Nine of Wands. It's almost like if you're trying to make like um, if you're like trying to start a particular business, for example, and you know they would be the perfect person to go into business with in order to ensure the success rate of what of this particular idea you want to fund and move forward with. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, they're the first person you think of, even though things didn't go well previously or didn't end well previously. But they're still the first person you think of in order to ensure whatever idea or task at hand is successful. Because it's almost like something happened to m that has put you in a position, Scorpio, to have new goals. Okay. Um, 
Perhaps others were successful and closed out, or you had some that fell short. But this particular one, that something about it is a wish come true. And it does. it's not just the goal itself, but the bringing, reuniting the two of you is also part of the wish come true. But naturally, they have resistance in regards to you when you show up with this particular offer. Show me the Ten of Pentacles for Scorpio. Both those? Okay. Okay. I'll like that. Okay. King of Swords, Aquarian Energy, Death Card of Scorpio. Lovers, Card of Gemini, Three of Pentacles, understanding that you're going to have to start all over if you pursue this. Is the cups there underneath? At least you see the connection for what it is, that it is a lover's connection. It's not like you're trying to tell me they're just a Three of Cups, that they're just friends. No, you're actually telling me at point blank range. I understand this is a lover I want to restart up, start over with. Okay. Show me the six of cups. And I understand why you think that would shake your foundation. Because this is showing me that in choosing this, it's going to be choosing something like you've never chosen before. Show me the six of cups, please, for Scorpio. Seven of Wands, Five of Pentacles. There's the shake of the foundation right there. Temperance card of Sag. You've given this some thought over a long time because it's made you uncomfortable. The idea of the physical changes you will have to make in your world in order to make this, make them say yes. Like you will have to go bridge the gap. You can't expect them to show up for you because they're the ones that are guarded and gone. Um... None of this is going to be easy to start. And understanding that, Temperance card of Sag for those keeping track, and understanding that has actually slowed your approach to this person. Okay. Show me the Queen of Swords. Knight of Cups. Knight of Wands. King of Cups, there you are. Hierophant. Scorpio. Taurus energy. Will you understand what it is you got to lead with? Not with the fire, but with the water. And when it's very, very clear on what the plan is, then you will give yourself permission to execute said plan in reestablishing connection with this person. Okay. Very well thought out. Very methodical. I get it. And it's just ensuring that like a lot of time has passed. This hasn't been something that only happened a week ago. A lot of time has passed here. Let's get into this person and start with the two of swords. Hermits, card of Virgo, nine of wands. They went on the deep soul dive. Um, They might have had a dark night of the soul here. This is very much a what doesn't kill you makes you stronger after leaving a tough situation behind, going through the process of healing and soul evolution and whatnot, um, and developing a thicker skin for someone after heartbreak. It's, but there's something about this process where upon their path of discovery and trying to fix themselves, their minds, their hearts, whichever, it's almost like their heart broke all over again in the process reminding me of the whole like medical idea of having to break a bone again to reset it so it heals properly this time kind of thing interesting okay okay show me the chariot please card of cancer okay. two of pentacles justice card of libra emperor aries energy Chariot again. Where's my water? Hmm. There is a skepticism because this is showing me that the two of you would have to venture to meet each other. Drive, fly, whichever. Um, them going back and forth on has is Scorpio the same or have they changed? Because that, that's what they gather from weighing and measuring if it's worth making any kind of effort in your direction. Once communication starts over. 
Show me the three of wands, please, for them. Nine of swords, death card of Scorpio, star. This person knows that before you were um, Aquarius, Taurus energy, for those of you keeping track, there you are again on the bottom, king of cups, another Scorpio energy. Um, they know that you were some form of soul bond that was meant to teach them lessons and whatnot. They don't want to have to repeat any lessons. They don't want this to be like, is this the universe checking my temperature to make sure that I've gotten over the past before they give me someone new? Kind of thing, which does, which does happen. It does happen. Um, A lot of anxiety there. Show me more about the Nine of Wands. This person can't just act like what happened before didn't happen. It They're showing me that there was, it came to a point where there was judgment call on the universe when this started hitting a point of toxicity that was being held on to too tightly. Okay. Capricorn energy for those keeping track with the devil there. Um, this person doesn't want to have to get rid of this again. Okay. So it's... What's what's Scorpio going to come with? What's Scorpio going to come with? Six of Cups, Judgment, Four of Wands. Cups, Two of Swords. You're going to give them something. Um, you you might even buy a house building something. Um, the word building keeps coming up. Um, upon reconnection, there's like you know that you're going to have to make some sort of grand gesture in order to set the tone so they won't scare away. Okay. Um, this feels like, uh, this feels like an apology of, I'm sorry, I didn't act like I saw you correctly before. Um, and then there's the act of sharing one's abundance long-term. You're basically, you're basically putting your money where your mouth is. And given the importance you've put on this 10 of pentacles, which has come up again, you're, the loss of the Ten of Pentacles, it's not that you can't make it up. You're Scorpio. Of course you can. <laughs> but something, how, how you associate with this, it's almost like how Taurus associates with their pentacles, with their physical world, their money and investments. It's, it's not the loss of the pentacles that's the problem. It's almost like a loss of all the effort that was put into it to create it in the first place just for it to be lost or mishandled, misused, et cetera. Um, so it's really understanding your attachment of your energy in the thing you have generated. That's the part that you don't want to lose or be frivolous with. But here with this person, you're, you're putting your money where your mouth is. You're like, I remember this went well in some kind of way, especially if you were coworkers. It, this went well in some kind of way previously. And now I want to step up and fully support instead of rarely show up for this particular connection, because I think we would work. I think we would work well together. I think we would be well together, et cetera, et cetera. How does Scorpio feel about this person? Keep. They wish you wish you knew you wish you knew where they were. And they're not sure if you're single. And you're not sure if they're single and you do know, you still know that they're your lover. There you are. You want to say something and you want to apologize. Five of cups, page, page of cups. I'm really effing sorry is what that means. I'm really effing sorry. Gemini, Scorpio, Capricorn energy for those of you keeping track. What are, what is this person's first thoughts of Scorpio? Uh-huh. They they associate with you with the type of person that gives very little for a situation but expects the world in return. Until things go to shit. And they're saying 
when things go to shit, Scorpio is the only one who wins. Interesting. Well, that's their vantage point. They're allowed that. We're all adults here. Nobody's perfect. Okay. But you want to reconnect in more ways than one. So I will look into them in the extended. I'll see what's going on with them in their current energy, near future, and the final outcome of the connection between you two in this lifetime. So if you are interested in any of that information, along with messages from spirit about the connection at this point in time, messages between you, as well as timing, feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below. And I'll see you guys over there. Bye.